Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can edit the text messages that automatically send out to your contacts during Smart Plans. Uh, so, the first thing you'll need to do to take a look at this is log into your command account. So, that is at agent.kw.com. We'll go ahead and log in here, and this is the same login as your MyKW login, just a heads up, and we can click sign in. Again, this is agent.kw.com. Now, once you log into command, we'll need to navigate on over to the apps first to make sure you have a Twilio account set up. So, if we go ahead and click on your name on the very top right, we can click on settings from that drop down. So again, click on your name on the very top right of command and click on settings from that drop down. And that will then take you on over to the apps that you currently have connected up to command. Now the top of the screen, you'll see your connected apps first. So mine might be in a slightly different order than yours because all of your connected apps will be at the top. And you'll see I'll say Dis disconnect account on the right hand side if that's already been connected up. And as you keep scrolling down, you'll see apps that you can even add on further, including Twilio. Now Twilio is a service that will automatically send out text messages to your contacts during smart plans. You can also um, send bulk text messaging to all of your contacts uh, straight from your contact database. Now this is not a free service, just a heads up. So Twilio is a paid service uh, and it's, it's not very expensive. It's something like a quarter of a penny per text that you send out. Um, and it will only charge you if you send those text messages out. But you will need to go ahead and have a Twilio account set up and connected to command in order for those texts to send out automatically or even to bulk text your contact database. Now, if you do not already have a Twilio account, you can set that up. And I'm just switching tabs so you can stay where you are on your screen. But I am on Twilio.com. So it's T-W-I-L-I-O dot com forward slash try dash Twilio. So let's see on the top of my screen here, I have that. Again, that's twilio.com forward slash try dash Twilio. You'll see it's very easy to create a Twilio account right away. It just prompts for a couple items here. Once you set up that account, you can then come back on an over to command and link that up right away. So we'll need to click connect account to connect your Twilio account up right away. All right, and if you need help setting up that Twilio account, feel free to email support at scottlaurymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to set up the Twilio account for you and link that up to command for you. So that is step one if you are wanting to utilize the automatic text messages that are sent from Smart Plans. So if that has been done, you can then navigate on over to the Smart Plans. Okay, and the Smart Plans icon is the fourth icon down. It kind of looks like a to-do list with a settings gear here. Okay, and this is a brand new feature that they released allowing you to edit the text messages in Smart Plans. I want to say that was released maybe two weeks ago. Okay, so this is a brand new feature. So in your Smart Plans, and again, this is the Smart Plans logo or icon on the left hand side. You can also click on the KW logo on the top left to view uh, what each icon does as you're starting to learn the navigation and command. Just a heads up on that. Now, if you do not already have a smart plan added in, you can absolutely do that. So it defaults on the My Smart Plan. So these are the smart plans that you currently have up and running. But you'll also see a library um, option here at the top that you can view all the different smart plans. So from here, you can even view the steps in each smart plan by clicking on View Steps here. Okay, so any one of these smart plans that has a text message feature that will apply in this tip video. So for example, the long-term nurture. If I click view steps, I see the different steps here that it has. And if we focus on the send SMS slash MMS automated or manual text here, you'll see that this would be a, this smart plan would apply to this tip video. So this will automatically send out a text message to your contacts in your database or that are set up on the smart plan if you have a Twilio account set up. Okay, or of course you can manually text them as well. That's an option. 
So if you do not already have the long-term nurture, you can click Add Smart Plan here to add that in right away. Okay, I already have it added. I already have it added to my command account, so that's why it's grayed out here. But you can click Add Smart Plan right there to add that over. But I'm going to go ahead and click on My Smart Plans on the left-hand side to get, navigate back over to the Smart Plans. Okay, you might have to uh, follow a couple prompts to add some contacts and to activate that. But once you're back on the My Smart Plans here, you'll see right here, you can see how many contacts are on the Smart Plan. And if you click on the eyeball icon, it will show you those icon or those contacts rather. On the far right though, let's take a look at the Edit option. Okay, so the Edit option in Command is always the pencil icon. Okay, so this is where we'll go to edit it. And just a heads up, a couple other notes on this page here. You will be able to add a contact to your smart plan right here. So if you click on the little outline of a guy with a plus sign, that will show you your contacts. So you can add um, in contacts right away to your smart plan. Okay. And just a heads up, this is a little confusing as well where it says activated and it's grayed out and it looks like it's off because this feature is not fully functional quite yet this activated feature so that is to come just because it looks like this doesn't mean it's not activated as long as you have contacts displaying here this smart plan is active okay so that is to come that you can turn it off and on as well though so on all the way to the right of long-term nurture let's go ahead and click the pencil icon It's telling me my Twilio account is not connected, so if you see that, that will need to be done in order for the smart plan to send out auto text messages. Okay, so as I go down here, so first of all, this editing feature, again, was maybe released two weeks ago. Um, so you cannot fully edit smart plans quite yet. You'll see on the right-hand side, this is all grayed out, but this is to come. So this is very exciting to see. Custom smart plans are soon to come here, and you'll see all the different uh, customization features that we will be able to add on the right-hand side here. For now, though, you'll see on the left-hand side, You'll see step one here, what happens for the first step, adding them to the monthly neighborhood nurture. As I come down, we have the make a call, right? Sorry, and it will delay 10 days first, so you'll see the delay. It'll then prompt you to call the contact. We delay for 10 days. It gives us a task to send the client an email or the contact an email. Delays for 10 days. And this is where things really get exciting. All right, so this is what we've been talking about, the editing the text messages that go out on smart plans. Now, again, I know I've said this 94 times so far, All right, but your Twilio account will need to be hooked up to command in order for these text messages to automatically send out. Okay, again, if you do not have a Twilio account set up, no worries, you can still use these, uh, these little scripts here to send out to your contacts from your phone directly. But if you want these to automatically send out from the smart plan, you will need to have that Twilio account. Okay, so we have two types here. So we can either select the message type being static or dynamic. And let me first explain what that means. So in this smart plan, the long-term nurture runs for 180 days, right? And you can see between each step, it delays for 10 days. So in theory, okay, these uh, each text message will go out every 30 days or so, okay? And so it will be a different text message each time it sends out, so every 30 days in theory, if you use the dynamic option. So it'll send a different text every 30 days versus static, that would be the same text message sending out every, every time. So every time it gets to this text uh, step of the smart plan, it will send out this one text. So I do think it's a great idea to go ahead and use the dynamic option so they receive a different text message every 30 days. Okay, so you'll see add more text messages to cycle through your repeating smart plan to avoid repeating messages to your clients. Up to six text messages can be added. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. In the dynamic option, it gives them a different text each time. So we now see the six different texts that we'll send out. All right, and uh, we have the option to even delete on the right-hand side. But so they do have these scripts auto-filled in here that you are more than welcome to edit. So you can click in the box to start editing that right away. Okay, once you're pleased with that, you can click the plus, uh, I'm sorry, the check mark on the very bottom right here. That check mark will save your changes. So we can go ahead and edit that. On the right-hand side, one more thing to note, we, they do have merge fields in here. If you're unfamiliar with what merge fields are, 
So that will autofill the information from the contact record into the text message to make the text message look a little more customized. So for example, it would say, hi, John Smith, it's your name and so forth, okay? So if you want this to just say, let's say I think that putting the contacts first and last name is a little impersonal, right? I think it's a little more personalized if I just use their first name. You can go ahead and delete that. So it will just say, hi, John, it's Leah Bass, and so forth, okay? So this is how you can go ahead and edit this, and when you're ready, you can click the check mark here. That will save those text messages so that your edited, customized text messages will be the ones that will send out throughout the smart plan. All right, guys, so that is how you edit smart plans. So that is right now the main thing to edit in your smart plans. So that is live at this time on December 16th, 2019. But as you can see, a bunch more new customization features are soon to come uh, with the smart plan. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to email support at scottleroymarketing.com. I'd be more than happy to help you through this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care, guys.